China is a country often described as having the world's largest population and the second biggest economy. But nothing quite captures its story than China as a country with the fourth highest biodiversity on the planet, behind Brazil, Indonesia, and Colombia. What this means is that its land, forests, and rivers are home to unique species of plants that give life to humans while driving the global ecosystem. But here's a question: How many of those plants survive, and what would we do without them? Please give a warm welcome for James Chow. I'm James Chow, host of the China Current, with a glimpse into tomorrow's world and stories about the human experience everywhere. We often talk about the danger of extinction to animals, but not so much about the risk to plants, even though they provide us with food and oxygen. A British study shows that over 600 plant species have been wiped off the earth since the Industrial Revolution. That's more than double the total extinction of birds, mammals, and amphibians. China is one of the richest plant varieties, with more than 35,000 types of vascular plants that have tissues and veins to distribute resources through its vegetation. But some of these are now at risk because of habitat loss or illegal exploitation, and are causing a rapid rethink. As in other countries, China's botanical gardens are a primary space for conservation, and where many of these endangered plants are being relocated for special protection and management. Chief among them is the National Botanical Garden in Beijing. Where China's last emperor worked as a private citizen towards the end of his life in the 1960s, the garden is in itself a magical place in the northwest of the capital, nestled between the fragrant hills and the Jade Spring Hill, set against the natural landscape and bookmarked with traditional architecture, bridges, lakes, ponds, and water lilies. It cultivates 6,000 plant species. That include 2,000 varieties of trees and bushes. Also among its collection are over 1,600 tropical and subtropical plants and 500 floral species. The jewels of the gardens are the year-round exhibitions that place a focus on 300 different orchids, aquatic plants, and aromatic and medicinal plants. This is the history and level of expertise. That conservationists are hoping will return life to the 15,000 plant species brought in for rescue. Beijing, despite its landscape, is not particularly known for its flora diversity. But the decision to relocate the plants here instead of the near 200 botanical gardens elsewhere in China is a symbol of the urgency in saving them. And of course, being centered in the nation's capital gives it access to two state-level laboratories plus an in-house research team. This also places a focus on off-site conservation, which may be secondary in preference to a natural environment, but nonetheless allows conservators to create an optimal space for temporary protection before they are placed back in the wild where they belong. Plants are a critical source, and in my next story, I'll talk about the forest coverage sweeping across China thanks to a decades-long tree planting program and a new movement to plant and conserve 70 billion trees in one country by 2030. I'm James Chow, host of the China Current, bringing you on a journey of emotions.